So something big happened around here this week. We got a dog. We got a puppy. And um, I have a lot to say about the puppy, and I will. But I got to wrap my head around what's happened to me by getting a puppy with, along with having four kids. So I'll, I'll talk about that. But one thing that popped in my head was um, something an author or a writer said a long time ago. Jill Soloway, the brilliant Jill Soloway in this book, Tiny Ladies in Shiny Pants. I love it. It's a little memoir. It's a little racy, but she's a great writer. That the way people talk to their dogs is like a window into the owner's soul. And so if you pay attention to how people talk to their dogs, you can kind of see what, or how they describe their dogs or talk to their dogs. And that's how they're feeling, or they're describing themselves. So for example, um, if someone says, oh, nobody loves you, oh, you're just alone in the corner, then that's kind of how they feel. Her obsessive compulsive friends called his dog a neurotic mess. So I've been kind of paying attention to what I've said to my puppy since we owned him for three days. And it is very telling. It's very telling. And here's what I say. I say, oh, you sweet girl. You a funny girl. I do a funny girl. Nobody thinks you're funny, but you're funny. You are a funny girl. See? Yeah. It's telling. It says a lot. <laughs> I think we kind of look alike. What do you say to your dog? And pay attention next time. It will either really shed some light on some of your friends or family, make you laugh at a family party, or just make the park a little more interesting.